Hello, Nick here from Technovo and welcome back to the channel. So I have just received my Steam Deck. I went for the 64 gig option. I bought it at a retail price and it looks like I got really lucky or just I was super quick with making my reservation as it came last week. I'm really enjoying using the deck. The gaming experience is fantastic. There are some issues, some bugs, but it's new. I'd expect nothing less. Steph got one too. He's doing a more in-depth review and I'll leave a link for that below. One thing I wanted to do after playing a couple of games was to set up my deck like my gaming PC, use my keyboard, mouse and monitor and this is how I did it. So the deck comes with one USB-C port at the top. In and out, you can plug a single item in, you can plug your Xbox controller in if you wanted and it will work just fine. However, if you wanted more inputs, you will need a USB-C hub. Now Steam has advertised that they will be releasing a Steam Deck specific dock, which looks pretty tidy. It's a stand as well, so that's really handy. But the release date for that is spring this year, if all goes to plan. So what do we do until then? Head over to Amazon or another store and grab yourself a third party USB-C hub. I have this A-Logic USB-C hub. It's an all singing, all dancing 18-1 hub that includes 4K, HDMI, Ethernet, USB ports, and a card reader. I've had this for about two years now, so it's not new, but I use it with my laptop and my iPad Pro, and it's been flawless. The only downside is it gets pretty hot. However, there is an array of hubs available on the market. Just make sure it's USB-C and then decide what other ports you want. I will say though, get a dongle hub, one like this with the USB cable attached to it because you can buy hubs without the little cable that connect directly into the USB port. But if you used one of those with the deck, one, it will cover up the fan so your deck will get very toasty and two, it may restrict your gameplay because you may want to have HDMI out, Ethernet in, but then use the deck as a controller. Anyway, if you like the look of the A-Logic, I'll leave a link below so you can check it out. Out of the box, the deck will recognize certain plug and play devices through the hub. So plug the hub into the deck. Then for me, I plugged my mouse and keyboard in via the USB ports, then HDMI cable out to my monitor. And I also plugged in an ethernet cable for a faster download speed. I would also recommend plugging the power supply in as well, just to ensure that the deck has enough juice. A word on the external display at present, and this is confirmed by Valve, connecting to a display will stretch the 800p content to the external display's native resolution with pillar boxing. Fine, it is what it is, and Valve will be upgrading that in due course. As for display out, it's not quite plug and play like the others at the moment, or at least it wasn't for me. To get the external monitor working, I had to hold down the power button and switch to desktop view via the deck. The monitor then picks up the signal and the deck screen is shown on my monitor. Why, I'm not too sure, perhaps something in SteamOS preventing native support or my hub, but then the hub works via the desktop. I've been through the display settings via SteamOS and I can't see anything restricting it either. Anyway, now you will automatically see the Linux desktop on your monitor. You can go into the display settings and decide what you want your monitor to show. Bottom left of the desktop, go system settings and then display and monitor. From there, you should see the deck screen or laptop screen, Linux is calling it, plus your monitor. So for me, it's showing my ViewSonic monitor and deck. You can decide which display you want, primary and secondary. Originally, the deck was set to primary, so the taskbar was shown on the deck and not the monitor. Select your monitor as primary, your deck will become secondary, and the deck screen becomes an extension of your monitor as well. So like a dual screen setup, you can move your cursor to the right and you'll see it move from monitor to deck. There are some other settings you can mess around with if you wanted to as well, but I think setting the monitor as your primary is the main one. But now you want to play a game, so open up Steam, there should be an icon on your desktop, go to library and hit play. The gaming experience for me was really good, full screen playing some F1, using the deck as the controller, but it's a hybrid setup, so steering, braking, etc. fine through the deck, but the Steam button and quick settings don't work. You need to use the keyboard you've got plugged in to exit the game or get into the game settings. It's obviously a little bit awkward to use the deck with the dongle plugged in, but playing was smooth, quick, like using my main PC, but reduced graphics, and at the moment at that 800p until the update is pushed out. One thing I did find that helped improve the graphics, 
FSR or Fidelity Super Resolution. Go to Quick Settings, Battery, Advanced View, scroll down to Scaling Filter and tap FSR on the slider. This will use more resources, battery will likely drain a little bit quicker, but this will help increase frame rate for your game. The Linux desktop is very similar to Windows. If you've not used it before, you can open the Firefox browser, surf the net, watch Netflix, do some shopping, download third party game launchers like Epic, but we'll save that for another video. Other options, Bluetooth. Some keyboards can run over Bluetooth without the need for a USB dongle, but if not, you'll need a hub to plug those dongles in anyway. So there we have it. That's how I plugged my deck in. This is a basic video, but it may help you out a little bit. The decks have just started shipping. There are new on daily updates. And as everybody uses them, more features or workarounds will come to light. We'll all know the best ways to do this and that. I'm going to keep on tinkering, see what my deck can and cannot do. So I'll leave an update in the comments below, or if I find out something worth sharing, I'll just make another video. That is a wrap on this video. If you have stuck around until the end, then thank you very much. And if you want to see more videos from us in the future, hit that subscribe button and all our future videos will pop up in your feed.